Nothing comes free on this planet. Nothing at all. Including safety. You've got to buy it. And you've got to buy it through experience. Vesuvius precasting plant Vizag, a plant that produces precast shapes and has achieved satisfactory scores during the last safety audit conducted by GRU. It has also performed reasonably well in terms of achieving health and safety KPIs till December 9, 2010. Overall, activities seem to be quite smooth, safe and well managed herein. But are things really going smooth? Or are possibilities of mishaps lurking underneath the apparent smoothness? Ninth December 2010 the day started well and was progressing as usual. Very busy, but things seemed under control, at least until 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Neela Kantham, an experienced technician, was busy at casting station 3. He was casting a little well block. Jagan Nadora was assisting him. Towards the end of the casting process, Neela Kantham noticed to his utter dismay that the core inside the mold had shifted actually. A sure reject, he thought. Wasted material, effort, time. Must make amends. The only way to do so, demold the piece, salvage the green mix, reassemble the mold and recast it. But time was running out fast. The green mix would soon start to set, making it impossible to work on it again. Neela Kantham proceeded to put his plan into immediate action. The first step, take the mold off the line. To remove the mold from the casting carousel, Neela Kantham hurried to fetch the overhead crane from demolding station 2. At that moment, Suresh, the primary technician at that station was off his job on a short break. Neela Kantham asked for the crane from Suresh's co-workman and brought it to casting station 3. He shifted the mold with the castable inside from the carousel and placed it on the floor beside. He released the top flat, unbolted the bottom plate and asked Jagannadora to get a bag on which he intended to drop the green mix out of the mold. Venkata, his colleague, was watching all this from casting station 2. Neela Kantham lifted the mold and the bottom plate came off easily. He again shifted and repositioned the mold on the floor. Things going well indeed. Must speed up things though. Putting Jagan Nadora onto cleaning the bottom plate, he quickly released the top core from the mold. By then, Venkata had finished his casting at station 2. He came over to help Neela Kantham. At that moment, Suresh returned from his break. His station crane was busy elsewhere. Now, the bottom core. This was the difficult part. Neela Kantham lifted the mold again to release it. Seeing the action at station 3, Suresh stood around looking for an opportunity to help. 
Venkata proceeded to get the bottom core released. The bottom core dropped. Job almost done. And before anyone could react, Suresh had put his right hand under the hanging mold. The crane jerked. The damage was done. Suresh's right hand middle finger severed inside his glove. Severe cut injury to his first finger as well. A team of doctors attempted reconstructive surgery on the middle finger. Day 3 Interrupted blood flow leading to an unsustainable graft. The only option amputation. The mistakes. Neela Kantam took the mold off the line and initiated demolding in an unsafe manner. दरअसल ये हादसा स्टैंडर्ड वर्क प्रोसीजर और सेफ्टी एलिमेंट को नजर अंदाज करने के कारण ही हुआ. Suresh and Venkata participated in the act without discouraging him. Suresh put his hand under the suspended load. Without thinking of the consequences. पिछले महीने की नौ तारीख को मेरी ड्यूटी के समय मैं अपने सहकर्मी से क्रेन लाने गया और पाया कि मोल झुलती अवस्था में है और वो उस पर काम कर रहा है मैंने कोर को सरकाकर उसकी मदद करनी चाहिए पर अचानक पीस पिछल कर नीचे गिरा और मेरे दाहिने हाथ के बीच वाली उंगली कटकर अलग हो गई इस हादसे से मैंने ये सीखा कि हमें दूसरों के काम में दखल अंदाजी नहीं करनी चाहिए और अगर करनी भी तो सबसे पहले सेफ्टी को ध्यान में रखकर इट वुड बी ग्रॉसली इनकरेक्ट टू थिंक दैट अ फ्यू पर्सन मोमेंटरी स्टूपिडिटी कॉज द एक्सीडेंट दिस इज नॉट अबाउट अ लैक ऑफ विट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट अ लैक ऑफ सेंस बट द क्वेश्चन रिमेन्स What really lies at the root of the incident? The mistakes were basically on three levels: incorrect quality perception, leading to an overzealous series of activities towards recovering a reject; the flaw supervision and management missed out on adequately training the workforce on this aspect of quality; a poor risk perception of the entire activity. including roles that individuals played it was a heart shaking incident for me many lessons learned i am putting my focus on to develop shop floor people for having a better risk perception standardizing all the processes and conducting safety audits myself and my management team members the technician should have brought the situation to the supervisor's notice and should have sought advice on the best way to proceed this standardization of response from the workforce was apparently not effective enough to me we need to guide our people to avoid taking risk out of our confidence i am going to engage myself more closely with the software members to improve their risk perception as well as capturing all the sios and mitigating it immediately as comprehensive as possible all effort must be on training the workforce well on safe working on what constitutes quality and on rational behavior at the workplace working as well as response must be standardized mujhe bada dukh hua jab maine jana ki mere pati ka accident ho gaya मैं बहुत परेशान थी ये जानकर कि उनके दाएं हाथ के बीच वाली उंगली कटकर अलग हो चुकी है इस दुर्घटना के कारण मेरे हंसते खेलते परिवार में गम का बादल छा गया मेरी विनती है सभी से कि काम करते समय वे बेवजह खतरा ना मोले और भगवान से प्रार्थना करती हूँ कि ऐसी दुर्घटना किसी और के साथ दोबारा ना हो 
Prevention of injury is not automatic. We need to work hard at it. We need to think, act, check for results, correct a course incessantly. Let us all make an effort to get back home safe and sound after the shifts because our families eagerly await us. Zero accident. If we can't, no one can.